This is the Scoop for Tuesday. I'm Sean Canan with the WMNF News Headlines. The Hernando School Board will consider three books for removal at its meeting tonight. Hernando Today reports that the meeting is at 6 this evening and will consider removing these three books. The Black Friend on Being a Better White Person, The Kite Runner, and America. After DeSantis suspended his presidential campaign, some lawmakers expected a change in priorities during the legislative session. However, WMNF's Chris Young reports that two Democrats in the House say nothing is new. Culture war bills are still moving forward in the Florida legislature. Things like banning local governments and schools from flying flags, including pride flags, and numerous anti-transgender and anti-diversity bills. Late last week, a grand jury requested by Governor Ron DeSantis released a report calling COVID-era lockdowns and masking ineffective. House Minority Leader Fentress Driscoll spoke out to media on Monday. And it feels like like he's a band that's past its prime, that keeps playing his greatest hits that nobody wants to hear anymore. It's like he's journey in all these culture war bills and this COVID grand jury. This is his don't stop believing. And we're tired of it. Democratic Representative Kelly Skidmore echoed her sentiments. She says her constituents have different priorities than some reflected in these House bills. Many of our House and Senate colleagues are um, weary of these uh, things, and they are getting um, the same messages that we're getting at home in our districts. And it is property insurance, property insurance, property insurance. However, Driscoll is remaining optimistic. What I'm hearing is that the Senate does not have the same appetite that it once did for these culture war bills. So we are hoping that the Senate will get back to being the Senate and that it will be a backstop and a moderating force on the House's more impulsive measures. The legislative session. Interim Hillsborough County State Attorney Susie Lopez has a Democratic challenger in the November election. The Tampa Bay Times reports that Tampa lawyer Elizabeth Martinez Strauss has filed to run for the position. Strauss told the Times... I'm not interested in being in politics, but I know I can do a better job than Susie Lopez. The twice-elected state attorney Andrew Warren was suspended by Governor Ron DeSantis in 2022 and replaced with Lopez. Warren is not running now, but he told the Times that he's waiting to see how the courts rule on whether he can be reinstated, but he that he is considering running. Florida senators have moved forward with a proposal to try to prevent minors under the age of 16 from using social media. The Senate Judiciary Committee voted 7-2 to two last night to approve a bill that's similar to a measure that passed the House last month and is a priority of Republican House Speaker Paul Renner. Supporters described social media as harmful to children's mental health, but they continued to face questions about the constitutionality of the proposal, which in part would prevent minors under the age of 16 from creating social media accounts. Critics contend it would violate First Amendment rights. Governor Ron DeSantis is calling for a crackdown on people experiencing homelessness in Florida. In Miami Beach yesterday, the governor voiced support for legislation banning camping on city streets, public sidewalks, and parks. Uh, It's got to be done in ways that is focused primarily on ensuring public order, ensuring quality of life for residents, ensuring that people's property values are maintained, ensuring that businesses are able to operate unobstructed with, uh, with, without these problems bleeding in. The bill would allow a municipality or county to designate a certain area for sleeping or public camping as long as nearby businesses or homes are not affected by it. DeSantis also says he's open to providing funding for shelters and mental health services for people experiencing homelessness. The state Senate began moving forward yesterday with confirming the director of the Florida State Guard. It comes as the state prepares to send members of the controversial Florida State Guard to Texas. Meanwhile, a House panel revised a bill that deals with background check requirements for members of the State Guard, which DeSantis revived in 2022 after it was dormant for decades. It'll be mostly sunny and windy this afternoon. Highs will be in the mid-60s. Tonight, it'll be clear and cool. Overnight lows will be in the mid-40s. And tomorrow, sunny and warm. Highs near 70. I'm Sean Canaan with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa.